Hello my dear students how are you all doing so till now you were you learnt your PUC so after PUC you have joined you have make up your mind to join the technical course that is engineering good so now as a engineering faculty my duty is to introduce my subject and also to introduce the syllabus and also to tell you the pattern of examination which is important for any course okay so i'll tell you the pattern i'll tell you the syllabus and i'll tell you my subject okay and i am chandrakant ramanayak so i completed my b in uh, ubdt c down gere and i completed my mtech in BIT college that is also in Daungere under VTU University. So this was my introduction. So my subject of specialization is structures, structural engineering. Okay. So now you are first year, right? So first year you will have a common subject of or in civil engineering that is elements of civil engineering and mechanics. So I am a faculty from civil engineering department. Okay. So first is semester for the both you have two semester wise courses that is semester one and semester two. So semester if you study semester one that is elements of civil engineering in semester one, no need to study in two because in two you will have different types of subjects. Okay. So either you have to study in semester one or you have to study in semester two. So in one of the cycle you will get in P cycle only you will get what? elements of civil engineering and mechanics you will have two cycles that is p cycle and c cycle p cycle is physics cycle c cycle is chemistry cycle so now course objectives we will see the course objectives and subject is what elements of civil engineering and mechanics your course code is 18 civ 14 if you are first semester it is 18 civ 14 and if you are second semester it will be 18 civ 24 fine so course code is very important you have to remember that about your exams you will have internal marks and also your external marks so internal marks is for 40 and external is for 60 okay this is the main marks but if we take internals for 50 it will be reduced to 40 if the examination is for 100 it will be reduced to 60 okay so don't worry about that just concentrate on the subject and any questions if you are clear with your concepts then you can write very easily and uh, i assure you that this subject is very easy okay this subject has nothing but the basic concept of physics okay and uh, you can all score a good marks if you concentrated well and study well okay so now i'll tell you the course objectives so it is uh, to make the students to learn the scope of various fields of civil engineering, basics of civil engineering concepts and importance of infrastructure development and also to develop a student's ability to analyze problem involving in forces and movements with their applications, centroid, moment, inertia and kinetics of bodies. You all studied in your second year PUC, right? Okay, same thing. Just you have, you are studying in the name of another subject okay it is very easy we have just have to apply your physics and also mathematical knowledge in our civil engineering that's it so first we will see introduction you ha will have five modules in this uh, course so module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 you will have five modules in each module two chapters will be there okay so in each module two chapters means what each module have two questions either you have to attend one question or you have to attend for second question okay so in the uh, question paper you will have a uh, total 10 questions with five choice okay so either you have to attend one or two like this in every module you will have two two chapters and uh, for every chapter there will be one question of uh, 20 marks uh, according to a uh, syllabus which you will get to know uh, scheme of examination which you will get to know in coming classes okay 
so every chapter is important you have to write one full question okay you can't neglect any topic here fine so now we will see the first module in the your first module it is just an introduction to civil engineering so what are the fields of civil engineering okay there are surveying building but surveying means to survey anything okay to survey with instruments okay it's the art of determining what geometry we will get to know when in coming classes okay so scope of different fields of civil engineering surveying building materials so what are the building materials and uh, with that building materials how we construct so the construction part is known as construction technology so this construction technology applied is where on the soil so we need to know the soil characteristics so the soil characteristic is known by what the geotechnical engineering okay so once the soil is fit we have to know that our structure is safe or not on that soil so that what we have to do we have to do we have to study the structural engineering part for that type for that particular structure okay if all structural geotechnical construction technology building materials okay then there is any thing with the hydraulics department means what bridges or uh, dams okay in that part of the uh, that part of that uh, structural means hydraulic structures like that so where there we will use the concept of hydraulics okay and also you have water resource and irrigation part transportation engineering okay water and irrigation resource and irrigation engineering is many report mainly it is useful for so any student who is willing to do water resource department is willing to go to job in water resource department so this is very important chapters for them okay then transportation engineering roads bridges which which are the means of transport will all come into in the transportation engineering and also environmental engineering so doing this all last we will see the environmental engineering how these material or how we how our technique will impact on the environment what we have to do to improve our environment what we have we what we not to do so that it will affect our environment like this okay so role of civil engineers in infrastructure development so total development total infrastructure development of the country depends upon whom civil engineers only okay the effect of industrial infrastructural facilities on socio economic development of a country how we are responsible we will see in the first chapter of module 1 that is introduction to civil engineering next we will come once we got introduction we will come to the basic concept of engineering mechanics okay here we will see what is particle you already studied just we will refresh our knowledge okay what is particle continuum rigid body okay forces acting on that rigid body system of forces okay then transmissibility superposition newton's laws of motion you already studied resolution composition of forces law of parallelogram of forces polygonal law resultant of concurrent coplanar system coplanar non concurrent force system varangel's theorem result of coplanar non concurrent forces system so every force and its system is learnt in our module 1 second chapter that is introduction to engineering mechanics okay it's all easy just we have to concentrate on the problems so that we are okay with this so with this basic knowledge we are going to continue our module 2 that is what equilibrium of forces we saw the forces and its system now what we have to do we have to know that it is equilibrium or not okay so equilibrium of forces so some concept are there free body diagram lamis theorem equations of equilibrium equilibrium of concurrent and non concurrent coplanar force system so what is that system how we deal with that so what are the problems we are facing when some equilibrium means in that chapter what are the problems we are facing we have to solve no for that purpose what are the theory we are going to study it is lamis theorem what are the conditions for lamis theorem we will study all this detail study are done in the uh, equilibrium of forces fine so once we got the equilibrium of forces then we will go to an important chapter that is friction okay force is there means a force opposing that force will also be there okay so that is what 
that is nothing but our friction so what is friction so loss of dry friction limiting friction static dynamic numerical problems on motion of single and connected bodies on plane wedge friction ladder friction rope and pulley system every system and uh, everywhere where friction is applying okay basic uh, concept of friction are all dealt in your friction chapter in module 2 so now what we know um, from uh, by completing module 1 and module 2 what we know we know about what is civil engineering and also the forces which are we are studying which already are there the forces are already there but we have to know which are the forces we have we have to know how we differentiate the different types of forces and also the friction force which is opposite to opposing that force okay how we can reduce that or, or how we can increase that based on our situation we have to know after that module 3 module 2 module 3 is there so in module 3 we are going to learn about support reactions okay so what are the loads support statically determinate and indeterminate beams support reaction in beams numerical problems on support reaction for statically determinate beams okay here the actual civil engineering concept comes okay so this we will deal when the chapter comes next module 4 is analysis of simple truss so what are the trusses how we analyze statically determinate okay trusses by using two methods that is method of joints and also method of sections that are two methods to solve the or to analyze the trusses so we will see in module 3 so module 4 continuous part of that module 3 that is centroid so what is centroid we will derive a uh, centroid for every geometric figure okay so what is moment of inertia theories or theorem which uh, give or which help us to solve the centroid problems that is the parallax theorem perpendicular axis theorem we will all see in your centroid chapter under module 4 so once we got the centroid chapter then we will come to the kinematics so kinematics is already studied by you in your physics physics right so we will study again here that is definition of what is kinematics like that next definitions of displacement average velocity what is instantaneous velocity speed acceleration average acceleration variable acceleration so newton's laws of motion again we have to study newton's laws of motion okay so rectilinear motion curvilinear motion projectile relative motion motion under gravity all the basic chapters are or topics we are dealing in your module 5 so once kinematics is known kinetics also known the d alambert's principle and its application in plane motion and connected bodies including pulley we will see in your module 5 so all chapters are easy only module 3 and module 4 are new to you and it will be also easy once you know the chapters thoroughly okay so what are the course outcomes okay after successful completion of your course you will be able to what you should be able to what you mention the applications of various fields of civil engineering you should know if any work is going on so what part of civil engineers are working there either he is a surveyor either he is from transport either he is from structure department you should analyze so like that you will have a basic common things in the civil engineering so compute the resultant of given forces systems comprehend the action of forces moment and other loads on system of rigid bodies and you will, you will also be able to look at the centroid and compute the moment of inertia of regular built up sections so express the relation between the motion bodies and analyze the bodies in motion so every, all these five points are taken from all the five modules which are explained in above uh, pdfs right so this is your syllabus so how will be your question paper pattern so the question paper will be set for 100 marks here okay you, you have to write the answers for 100 marks the marks code will be proportionally reduced to 60 so the, your question paper is for 100 marks and you will write for 100 marks but the result is reduced to 60 means if someone is scored for 90 for 100 means he will score some it is reduced to 600 is reduced to 60 that's uh, the same way 90 is also reduced to 60 okay you will proportion you will get how much you scored for 60 like that okay the question paper will have 10 full questions okay from every chapter one full questions will be there 
carrying equal marks okay carrying equal marks so 100 marks 10 questions you have to answer what 5 5 to find 20 so every one question is of 20 marks including the sub questions okay each full question is consisting of 20 marks there will be two full questions with a maximum three sub questions from each module so from each module you will have two full questions means each module carry how many marks each module carry actually they carry 40 marks but you have to write for 20 marks choosing any one okay you have to write for 20 marks from one module each full question will have a sub questions covering all the topics under a module the student will have to answer five full questions you have to answer and five full questions the question paper is given 10 full questions but we have to answer only five picking each from each module okay selecting one full question from each module so this is your question paper pattern so textbook which you can refer so rk bansal a textbook of engineering mechanics by lakshmi publications you can refer okay you can also refer rc hibler engineering mechanics present principles of statics and dynamics okay so this book I ref I suggest you to refer and uh, uh, many other books are there I am I'll tell you when the classes is on okay so this was about your syllabus and a course introduction for you so that you will be comfortable when I do the lecture in coming classes thank you my dear students and have a good day thank you